When you debate Muslims, do you pray with them? Pray with them? No. No. Would you object to um, someone asking a Muslim in your debate to join with us in saying, say, the Lord's Prayer? Would you object to that? I would. Okay. Do you have your children in your Reformed Baptist Church pray the Lord's Prayer? Well, they certainly join in the, in the congregational prayers in the sense of showing respect for them. We certainly don't ask them to lead them. Uh, but certainly, Would you ask a Muslim to join in with you in the in the? No, Lord's because prayer? they've already made a profession of faith that is in opposition to Jesus Christ. So if they haven't made a profession of faith in opposition, they're in the status of covenant children? I don't, I don't, there's no such thing as a covenant child in the New Testament, so I don't even know how to answer that question. When, <laughs> well, you but just said that. trying to parallel a Muslim with it really makes me very okay, confused. Okay, if a Muslim, if a Muslim were here and we were saying, would you pray with me the Lord's Prayer, you would object. But if a child of a Christian is here and we pray the Lord's Prayer, would you go to him and treat him the same way the Muslim? And again, I, I pointed out, I think very clearly, that a Muslim has made a specific profession of faith that is contrary to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. They are worshiping a different God. So the children are worshiping the same God then? I don't know what the children are doing. We are told to instruct them in the way of the Lord and to hope and pray for God's grace upon them, but they have not made a profession of faith in another God. Do you have children in the church saying things like, Jesus loves me, holy, 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 um, blessed be the tie that binds in Christian love, confessions of Christian fellowship? Yes. Why? Because we hope for God's grace in their life. Would you do that with any adult unbeliever? An adult unbeliever is welcome to come in and sing. We don't sit there and go, excuse me, don't sing. Um, we don't have any walks, anybody who walks around and does that. Wouldn't you I'm, say I'm sure that's you. a false profession? I'm sorry? Isn't that a false profession for an unbeliever to do that? It depends on if it's done in ignorance or in, in knowledge. I know God used that in my life to bring me to him, so I like the means of grace personally. 